Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Um, A long time. No talk. You know, it's, I don't make these videos regularly, but um, I did want to make a video today. I always find that it's easier to make videos raw when I'm feeling the thing that I want to talk about. Um, instead of like planning it out and trying to do it later, it usually doesn't work. But today I want to talk about uh, being trans and pregnant. Um, so if you haven't been to this channel before, um, I'm transgender. I identify as non-binary, which means I don't really identify with either gender binary. I'm just like somewhere in the middle. I'm just me. I'm just a person, right? Uh, I'm also pregnant. And last but not least, definitely not least, I'm black. <laughs> if you didn't know by, you know, looking at me. Um, and the most ironic thing, and this is what I want to talk about today. The most ironic thing about being transgender, pregnant, and black at the same time is that it is so crazy to me how when I go out in public, I still get treated like a black man, right? I have no problems with that. That doesn't bother me, even though it is quite a life to live, okay? Because black people get treated differently, especially black men. Um, and I wouldn't know that without having had this transgender experience where I'm going out in public as a black man and seeing how people react to me. And um, so one thing I really noticed while I was going through my trans transition um, is, you know, when I'm walking, especially, you know, if I'm by myself and not with a group, um, when I'm passing by, or even if I am with a group, um, people will usually cross the street. You know, you probably heard that before, you know, you know, you see a black man coming and you cross the street. I don't know where people get that from, but that's a thing, apparently. And so that started to happen to me after I started trans transitioning um, and going to parks and like in family settings, parents always hold their children or grab their hand or pull their children close when I pass by. That's another thing. And so as a soon to be parent um it's just really ironic to see how people still react to me in public um and the the craziest thing about it is that i'm pregnant you know so if you know don't know anything about pregnancy maybe you've never been around a pregnant person before but it's hard being pregnant your body is changing to give you a general view of how my life is going right now. I've been throwing up for 15 consecutive weeks. I didn't even know that was possible to throw up every week for months. Um, and that's just been a part of being pregnant. And I'm, I'm okay, you know. I'm eating is just, it's been a very turbulent pregnancy. Um, but I'm fine. But let's get back to the topic because... I consider myself, when I go out, out, I usually don't go out alone, but uh, my partner has been working more. So I, I try to take walks and things like that to keep myself healthy during my pregnancy, especially during, you know, the pandemic, which um, wasn't going on the last time I talked to you guys. Um, and so I try to go out, you know, get some exercise and to see how people react to me is just really crazy and strange because I'm literally the most vulnerable person in the room, in any space right now. I am so capable of just falling out or throwing up, you know, or, you know, dropping things because that's just, my mind is all foggy right now. It's just a part of being pregnant for me right now is being vulnerable, you know? And to see how people still treat me like the most dangerous thing on the block is... Uh, a, a psychological, it's just, it's just weird to see, you know, it's a, it's a psychological phenomenon, if you will, to see how people have created this image of me, you know, without knowing anything about me. Um, 
And a lot of times I want to tell my story to them when I see them react in that way because it's very clear that they don't notice the box, you know, that they have, whoops, <laughs> that they have put themselves in. And this is what I mean, you know, I'm just clumsier right now. Um, but they don't notice the box that they've put themselves in um, just based on somebody's appearance. Um, but it's always a learning lesson to me because I never... I never want to be like that, you know? I never want to react out of fear um, and instill that in my children, you know? Um, to be afraid during certain situations and to react certain ways due to something that I don't know anything about. I always feel like I want to pull those people aside in that moment and tell them my story. Help them see the, the, the box that they put themselves in because it truly is... Um, you know, a box. Because um, you don't know anything about me. You don't know, they don't know that I'm pregnant because if they did, they wouldn't treat me like I was about to rob them or steal their children or who the fuck knows what goes through their minds when they do the things that they do. Um, I just thought it was interesting and I wanted to mention that to you guys because um, not a lot of people go through this experience. And so I thought it was important to share that um you know, I'm changing, my body is changing, but the people in the world around me is either not changing or changing in a different way. Um, it doesn't bother me though, because I'm, I'm still grateful that God made me black. I'm not going to lie, because it deters a lot of those evil, feeble minded, um, scary people. You know, I don't want those people around me anyway, if that's how you're going to react to a situation that you don't understand, you know? I never, like I said, I never want to be that way. And being black has kept those people way over there. And um, look at my arm, Lord. Um, <laughs> has kept those people way over there and I'm happy about it. It's just that I wanted to bring that to people's attention because I just, um, you know, sometimes I just can't believe people. And it's just a reminder that, you know, just be vigilant. Don't... You know, don't judge a book by its cover and don't be afraid of things that you don't understand. You know, 